hope everyone is doing well. I'm starting off this vlog trying not to talk with a lisp because I've just got Invisalign. <laughs> I feel like they're a lot easier to talk in than I thought they would be. I just struggle with the S's a little bit but hopefully <laughs> hopefully it's not too annoying to watch. But yeah, today we're filming a very Christmassy vlog. I'm going to be putting up my Christmas decorations and I have a little haul to start off with of Christmassy things. I've been to a Christmas market this morning at the Chippy Flower Farm which was lovely. I saw so many nice things. I feel like I need some lip moisturiser. I went and got one of these little Palmer's cocoa butter. If anyone's got any Invisalign tips <laughs> tips tips then I'd be very open to them. Okay, let's move on to my little haul. Um, I went to Burford Garden Centre recently and saw that they had a load of the World of Craft items which are like my favourite Christmas decorations ever but they hardly had any stock so I didn't pick any up there and then I googled it, the brand, and managed to find their website but I thought that I wouldn't be able to order anything because it's all in Danish or whatever it is but it turned out I could order it and it arrived within like four days <laughs> so I got a little bit overexcited on the website this is probably my favourite thing that I picked up it's just so gorgeous I don't know where I'm going to hang it yet I kind of wish I bought more because I just love it so much and it's going to look really cool hung up wherever I end up hanging it and then I picked up some more paper things. This one is similar, but this is in a plain cream. And I need to figure out how I fasten it together. These are my favourite sort of Christmas decorations. Just really pretty, dainty, craft-like. And then I also picked up two of these. Um, these I saw in Burford and they looked really, really cool. They are basically paper bunting, well, it's sort of like garland bunting. Are you ready? And then I picked up two ornaments. First one is this really, really cute little elephant with a sparkly jumpsuit on. Just thought he was very cute. And then I also picked up, I don't really know what this is meant to be, a fox? I think a fox. But I've got a few from them in this sort of like brushed, brush-like material. Then in one of my little drawstring bags, I have all of the stuff that I picked up in my recent trip to Soft Stream Green. Um, and I know I've butchered that pronunciation of Soft Stream Green, but that's alright. <laughs> I'm pretty sure when I was in Copenhagen and I met a lovely Dutch girl, she said it was pronounced Sostrengrena or Sostrengrena something like that. So I don't know how you're actually meant to say it, but that is how I'm saying it for now. Sostrian green. Although Sostrian green does sound a lot nicer, I think. Anyway, they now have a shop in Newbury. They used to only have shops in England, way up in the north, and now they've got one down south. And I go and visit my friend Amber at the same time and have a little Sostrian green trip. And I picked up quite a few things. Some are going to be gifted to other people and some I will keep. This I'm going to keep. This is a little brown scarf, like a little neck scarf. And I have been on the hunt for one of these. I even asked my mum if she could crochet one, but she hasn't. So <laughs> I found this and I was like, oh well, I'll get this then. So it just sort of goes like around your neck and then you tie it and you've got a cute little necktie 
scarf and it's really handy for when you're not wearing like a turtleneck like this because I get so cold in the winter and it just helps keep the drafts away. Also it's nice to not have to wear like a huge chunky scarf when you want to wear a scarf. Picked up these really cool striped candles. Very pretty. Those were £4.78. Everything is very reasonable there. It's basically like a nicer tiger um, if you haven't been before. I picked up some more of my favourite hair ties. These are little fluffy knitted hair ties and they're just like the perfect size and hold and they they're kind of like a cross between a scrunchie and a normal hair tie so they work really well I find in tying my hair up and they don't hurt so I've got two packs of those now picked up some very nice gift tags these ones look like this really pretty and then I also picked up some Christmassy ones. These ones have little trees on, and then I've got some little stars, and those were 88p and 93p for eight, which is pretty good going. Then I picked up one of their paper stars. And it has sort of like a velour velvet effect to it. I don't know which way up it's meant to be, but it'll look like it'll look like that when it's um, put together properly. And then this I thought was so pretty. It's a little beaded mistletoe, and this was twelve pounds twenty-eight. Very random price. The great thing about this shop is that you can actually now buy the stuff online which you never used to be able to, but now they have an online shop, so I should be able to link all of this stuff, hopefully, in the description down below. I then picked up this advent candle. I am really into candles at the moment. I don't know what it is. I just, um, I think I'm finally getting over my fear of candles. <laughs> I always had a major fear of everything burning down because of me. Yeah, I think I'm over that now. So I'm gonna burn this this year. And that can be my advent calendar. Then I picked up this little gold sieve, which I thought would be perfect for icing sugar. And then I found this brush, which I thought would be really good for cleaning vases. Um, because I'm always trying to get in like those really awkward corners of vases to clean them properly. Um, and I just thought this looked really handy. So for £2, I thought I'd give it a go. They have a really great stationery section and everything is always insanely good value for money. This was £3.97 for a little weekly planner and it's on this very pretty... This looks very... This looks very purple to me now but in the shop it looked pink but it's got like just the days of the weeks. And I thought these were really handy and a really good present. And I also picked up two of these 2024 calendars. Um, and they're just, I love a really simple calendar. And this one is going to be so handy for my sewing. So I can like block out periods of time for when I need to be making or uploading. So it's just very plain and on this really pretty blue paper. That can be hung up next to my pin board I think. Be a bit more organised in 2024. Oh and then finally I did also pick up one of these weird silicone cleaning sponges. It's not really a sponge. And I love that it's brown because I find that kitchen cleaning products are always the most disgusting primary colours and that would not look good. So when I've got my own kitchen <laughs> I can use it. I also picked this up recently in Zara Home. It's just a little wire soap dish and it looks really good with my little scrubber in it. So you can actually put a light bulb in it. Well I don't really think I'll be putting a light bulb in it but... <laughs> oh. Ooh. Pretty. So I'm guessing we undo this. 
find the find the pincy corners. Oops. I might go back and get a few more of these because that was really easy to fold out compared to well the other one the other paper one was all right but I need to figure out how to what tie I want to use to hang this up because it doesn't it wasn't really quite as easy to put together but how cute are they gonna look so pretty I love it very happy with that there we go those are all of the Christmassy bits I've picked up recently um, I've obviously got my own ornaments and everything that I can hang up that I've been making. I made a little felt garland which if you haven't seen my series of videos with winter craft ideas then they are on my channel or I will link them down below and I will catch up with you guys tomorrow when I am finding my Christmas tree and we can start decorating for Christmas! <laughs>
The wreath is done, very happy with it. And we put it outside in the garden for now. And it's quite nice because when we're washing up in the kitchen, we can see it in the backyard. I'm very happy with my first attempt at a wreath. <laughs> my little neck scarf has been keeping me very cosy today. It's about three degrees outside, which is crazy. It's time to tackle the tree. I'm putting it up in my parents' hallway this year. We usually have a real tree here, but we're going to put the fake one down. And I'm a little nervous about the cats <laughs> with this tree, but they're quite old cats. One of them definitely won't be trying to climb it. Um, but we'll just hope that Spock doesn't want to climb it. She's already eyeing it up. Looking good. I now need to go and get all of my ornaments from upstairs. I completely forgot that I made all of these little doves last year. These are also really cool, these ones I made using my Cricut machine. A new addition to the tree, Santa Flory. Ooh, I forgot about these, my felt balls. <laughs> I think I ended up putting these in my studio. I think I probably won't put these on the tree. More paper bits. Love those. Oh, my angel. 